hello guys and welcome back again to my channel um today's um news is um well a very sad one but my reason for posting this particular um news is um just to actually let a lot of people out there especially those in africa to actually know that um there's also also um negligence in um prisons in um countries that are not african countries also okay these things don't happen only in africa it happens also around the world okay so it's not just an african thing okay negligence in the prisons is not just an african thing it can happen anywhere around the world okay so um this incident is actually about a baby who died in a uk prison after an inmate gave birth alone in the cell okay so um the police are currently investigating the um unexplained death as um as the uh, a uk as that's like the largest female prison in uk named Brunsfield women's prison in surrey hope i got that right surrey or oh, sorry you guys should let me know in the comment section how you pronounce that okay so the police are still investigating anyway okay because um it's something that shouldn't have happened okay the death of a baby okay um it was said that the when um the prison staff visited the woman's the woman's um cell that is the mother's cell okay on a friday morning okay that um they saw the baby and then discovered that the baby was not um breathing okay baby was unresponsive okay and um, actually the the death of this baby is currently being treated as unexplained okay according to the police and an investigation is continuing to establish the full circumstances of what actually happened but the case raises serious question okay about how the woman came to be unsupervised and without medical support during her labor and then birth because um 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 birth does not does not just happen like that immediately okay there's a process of labor no matter how short or long labor is but there is a process of labor okay and about the conditions also at the privately run prison because this prison is a private one okay and um that is actually a big concern a very big concern okay a very big concern and um people are actually saying that um this is not actually the first time um um such bad news is happening at that prison okay there's been cases of negligence okay case of neg negligence and um a spokesman for the prisons and um probation unit okay which is like an independent body that investigates death in prisons and detention centers confirmed that they are not investigating the baby's death and said it was not part of their jurisdiction okay the jurisdiction is that's the word or what whatever it's not part of their task to investigate the baby's death so their hands are off it and um, the police are the ones actually digging deep to know what actually happened and um but they say that they are supporting the mother through this um distressing time and their thoughts are with her and her family and also um the staff involved and they're taking a full review and working with all relevant authorities during their investigations okay this is pretty sad the question is where were this um, prison attendants when this woman was in labor a woman who's in labor is never quiet there is no silent moment in labor no silent moment in labor so this is actually if you ask me this is a pure case of negligence okay it doesn't matter if she gave birth at the middle of the night as long as it was a delivery there was a labor process labor is painful 
the woman definitely made some good um, amount of noise that was enough to actually wake everyone up but still no one attended to her no one attended to her and it's also said that in this prison there is a mother and baby unit okay at the prison and then um, women whose babies are born in prison or who are already with the baby you know when they enter the prison can actually keep the infants with them until the babies are like 18 months old okay and he said that every year about 600 pregnant women are held in prisons in england and wales and about 100 babies are born there <laughs> you can imagine okay which means in the prisons over there there are um provisions provisions for medical care and natal care and um, labor and delivery care for these women okay because if they can accommodate women who already have babies with their babies and allow them keep their babies in prison till the babies are 18 months then why this particular story why this why this negligence okay why this negligence okay a particular doctor kate paradin um that's the chief executive of the charity women in prison said she said all mothers should have the right to give birth in dignity said, but time and time again we hear of situations where this isn't happening with mothers regularly being denied access to the vital health and maternity care necessary to give birth safely this has devastating consequences not only for the baby and mother but also for the rest of the family they are separated from okay this is not um something okay it's actually horrifying it's it's a very very bad news and i think this should not go unattended to it should not go quiet it should not just go quiet at all okay this should be looked into definitely looked into and um i don't know nobody can press charges i just don't know how it's gonna go but this is a pure case of negligence that should not be allowed to happen again okay so that's it guys let me know what you think about this story in the comment section thank you i'll be seeing you in my next video